running? Why are you running? Why hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at AdFly and learning how to use it effectively and prevent ads from destroying your device. Now of course, a lot of us do know how to use AdFly, however there are some people who do struggle to use it and most often than not, when you're trying to download something, people will use AdFly to shorten the links and create cash. There's nothing wrong with this of course, however AdFly can be quite a pain and without the proper knowledge can leave your phone full of nasty ads that no one wants to see. So today we're going to be showing you how to use AdFly to download your files easily and remove the ads from them. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so for today's video we're actually going to be downloading a Minecraft file. Now of course this video and tutorial will work for no matter what file you're downloading. Of course though today we're going to be doing a Minecraft file just because Minecraft is my thing. However this tutorial like I said will work for anything you're trying to download through AdFly. So with that being said, let's get down to it. So of course when you're trying to download something with AdFly the first thing you need to identify is whether the thing you're going to download uses AdFly. If it does, we can continue on to the next step. So anyway, I found the thing that I'm going to download and I'm just going to click on it and this is where the tutorial part starts to kick in. So uh, most often than not, the sites that you're going to use will say that you're leaving it, you know, you're leaving your site and going to an unknown site, just click allow and allow that to continue. This step may not be needed depending on what site you're using, but since I'm using MCPDL, it actually tells you when you're about to leave the site. So what you're going to do is just wait for everything to load up. Alright guys, instantly as we load it in, you can start to see that AdFly has taken its uh, role. So what you can actually do is you're going to actually have to click allow and then just click a backspace just like that. Now you'll actually get to this site that says AdFly. So this is the first stage of AdFly. Now um, depending on what the user uh, chose when shortening the link, there can actually be multiple sections where you're actually going to have to click allow like we just did earlier. So in some cases you may have to click allow twice, in some cases you have to click allow once. Now do not fear, do not click off the video, I'm going to be showing you how to deal with this in an effective way without harming your device. So uh, this is the main uh, user face of AdFly and this is normally where people start to encounter problems. So as you can see earlier I already clicked allow but that's not the only step you're going to have to take into consideration. So guys. Once you go into this uh, site, you're going to see that there's going to be a whole bunch of ads. I recommend do not click on any of them because more often than not, these ads can actually lead to viruses and malware and no one wants that, so do not click on them. Once you get to the site and the little countdown corner at the top right has ended, it'll say skip ad and that is the first thing you're going to need to do and you're going to have to click skip ad just like so. Anyway, once you've clicked skip ad, it'll actually bring you to the site that says Press, uh, please press allow to continue. Now, not a lot of people know what to do here, so I'm actually going to explain it to you in detail. So right now, as you can see, ads are popping up on my screen, and there's no button that says press allow to continue. So what you're actually going to have to do is just await a period of time until AdFly is done giving you ads on your screen, and eventually then a button will say um, allow. Okay guys, so I've waited about, about 10 seconds or so, and now you can see that a notification has popped up on my screen. This is what you're going to have to wait for. This is the second allow button that I was talking about earlier. Now of course, not all users will use this, however, depending on whether they want to make more money or not, they most likely will add a second allow. So once you see this guys, you're going to have to click allow. Now let me be honest with you, by clicking allow, ads are going to come up to your device. However, that's perfectly normal and that's only the only way you're ever going to get through AdFly. So just click allow and then we'll discuss what to do later to get rid of the ads. So as soon as you click allow, your device may start to vibrate and get tons of notifications on the hotbar. This is normal and once that's all done, you're actually going to get to this page that says redirecting. Now depending on your browser, it's either going to take you straight to uh, the site or you can just go ahead and uh, copy that uh, link that was on that page, it's your choice. For instance, if you just want to copy that, you can then go back to your browser, paste that in and go directly to the download site, bypass and media fire, or you can just wait for your device to redirect you to the uh, site. So as you can tell, uh, my download link has now appeared. This is the original direct site where I want to go through. So now I've successfully bypassed AdFly and now of course I can download my download. 
and in this case it's a Minecraft add-on, but maybe for you it'll be something different. But this does sort out the problem of downloading, there's still another major problem, and that is all the ads that are going to be on my hotbar. As you can tell guys, there's a whole bunch of ads on my hotbar and these things are actually going to keep showing up and nobody wants this. So this is where the important part of the tutorial comes in on how to remove this junk. So once you start getting these notifications and after you have downloaded your file, what you need to do to prevent these ads is just to hold on them in your notification bar and you will see that they say here, uh, allow notifications from this category. What you're going to do, now this may look a little bit different depending on your device. I'm on a Samsung device here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disallow it like this and then click save and you're going to see that all the notifications from your hotbar are going to disappear. Now uh, if there's still some, just go ahead and repeat the step and uh, it will just basically remove all the ads. Sometimes there will be multiple sites sending you ads, so just make sure that you disallow each site and only do this after you have downlo downloaded your uh, download because otherwise it won't work. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap up the tutorial on how to use Adfly effectively and safely to download your files without worrying about the ad. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe, share this video with all your friends as all the help really does mean a lot to us. But with that being said, I'm going to see you all next time. If you have any problems, comment down below. But with that being said, this horrible site is going to disappear from my screen now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.